I'm Gina Luker from theshabbycreekcottage.com and I want to show you how to take a picture of your pet and turn it into a pumpkin carving template or you could use it for any other craft. Um, but we're going to talk about pumpkins. So you want to take your image. Uh, we took and just, you can see, we held up our dog. You want to make sure that there's a contrasting background. She's blonde. We used black so that it's really defined for you. So first you want to bring it into Adobe Photoshop Elements 15 and there's a lot of things you can do. This makes it super duper easy. So click Guided and you'll see there's several different effects that you can do. Um, we're going to choose Line Drawing. After it opens up in Line Drawing, you can click Pencil Sketch Effect and you'll be able to see it turn into a pencil sketch. So we're going to click Levels, and that brings it up a little bit more, but it's not quite defined enough for me. So I want to continue down here, click Next, and then we're going to continue editing in Expert. Once you're here, zoom out a bit. Um, you're, it's created a layer um, for the pencil sketch, so we're going to click Layer, and then we're going to flatten that image so that you know we're dealing with the image as a whole. Next, we're going to click Enhance, Lighting, Adjust Lighting, Levels, and you'll be able to see there's a lot of white and not much dark. If you drag this over, you'll start to see that, that she's more defined than before. Uh, I want this background a little gray, but not too gray, uh, so you can drag it in a little, and you can click OK. Once you have... You can definitely see the definition of her outline. Now that your levels are finished, we're going to turn it into the cameo effect. So you want to take, you want to choose the elliptical marquee tool up here on this side. You could do rectangle or square, you could, but the elliptical gives you the option to do it um, in the circle or an oval. You could just drag it over it. Uh, to create your a template that you want. Um, I'm going to bring it up a little. You could make it shorter. You can make it taller. That looks pretty good to me. There's plenty of space all the way around. That's pretty important for pumpkin carving specifically. So once you have this done, you want to hit Command C or Control C and you're going to, it's copying what's inside that elliptical. We're going to take and create a new file, a blank file. We're going to choose US paper and it'll give you an eight and a half by 11 sheet, which is what you're going to print on. And then you want to click Control V or paste it. Um, and you can shrink it down a bit uh, so that you can center it on the page. It's, unless you have a really big pumpkin, you're not going to want to print it you know, completely to the edge. So I found that for the pumpkin we used, uh, this this works pretty well. If you have smaller pumpkins, you can bring it down, however you want to do it. So it, the neat thing about Photoshop Elements 15 is it kind of helps you to, it's got it, and it will help you to uh, find the center point really easily from side to side or from top to bottom. After this, you're going to print, and you're just going to, you know, cut out this negative area. Uh, you're not going to cut right here. You're going to go around. And I've got some photos on my blog at theshabbycreekcottage.com slash pumpkin dash carving if you want to check out the rest of the post.